Alright, so here's Kennedy's nursery slash toddler room tour video. I'm standing outside the door now. And I just got some pictures of her up right before you go in. I have a little baby sign on the door. And we'll go in. Alright, so she's got a really tiny room. But we've done the best we could with it to make it work. So here is kind of what you see first. Closets over there. Crib. Little shelf. Mirror. Alright. So back to the beginning. So when you walk in, first we'll go behind the door. I've got this shoe organizer. And it actually holds a lot. So, oh, the door is coming open again. Um, we just got a lot of little knickknacks in here that we couldn't really find space elsewhere for. You know, all the stuff that you have a junk drawer for goes <laughs> really nicely in one of these. So, you keep all of our spare wipes at the bottom. Shoes that she never really got to wear. Hair things are in that container. Poop bags and a nasal aspirator. Nail clippers and lotion and stuff. Nooks, samples, baby powder and wash, breastfeeding bags, disposable diaper, um, like when you change your diaper out in public to lay down underneath her. There's some wipes for, like when you're out and eating or something, you can wipe the table down. So yeah, that's that. And then over above her changing station, I've got this little spice rack that I got from Ikea. Painted it pink. Have some books in there. And then her lotion that we put on after her bath and some Aquaphor. We've got a little angel decoration here too. Um, she got this from her dedication that we just had. It says, she is clothed with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31.25 that's that. And then here's her changing station. She's almost too big for it, actually. Um, those are just her pajamas hanging over the top that she wore last night. So down here I keep all of her books. And in the pink container I have extra lotions and her comb. In this one I keep her diapers and wipes. Down here we have her noise machine and a bunch of stuffed animals and toys. It's really handy when we need to clean our room or do something up here we can just put her in here and she can play and reach everything. And I just have extra toys under there and this is a really cute pink hat box that I got for my mom that she wasn't using for anything so I thought it'd be cute to store toys in or something for when she gets older. And I just got this pink rug from the Goodwill. Back up here we have puffs that we designed and made ourselves for her baby shower. I have a Jesus Loves Me cross that she got for her dedication. And a picture that her Auntie Ashley made for her with her birth stats on it. Over here is her crib. We got this one on Amazon. I think it's a Graco brand. And then those are the blankets she uses at night. There's her curtains. It's actually a shower curtain. But the colors work perfectly in here. As you can see we have yellow and pink. And gray and white. And some teal. And there's a little shelf. The K is... I'm not sure where it's from but... Um, her grandpa got it for her when he hosted her first birthday party and it lights up. It's a decoration that I used on the table at her party and then her baby monitor. Next to her crib I just have a big picture of her that it's really heavy so I don't want to hang it here at our apartment. I have a mirror that she loves to look at herself in. And her diaper pail. It's the Arm & Hammer one. We really like it. 
And above all that, I have her Kennedy sign. Auntie Ashley also made that for her for her baby shower, actually. So that's her room. And here's her closet. It's actually a decent sized closet for the size of the room. It goes back a little ways. It's kind of dark in there. I've got some storage in there for us too. So up here I just have blankets in this wicker basket. And here are some of her records, medical stuff, um, and some extra books that I don't necessarily want her tearing apart yet. Extra best pads are up there and a little decorative jar thingy that my aunt made for me. There is a humidifier. It's winter now, so we'll need to take that out. And we have my breast pump in that black bag, if you can see it. And then a big teddy bear and a rocking chair up there. Back there I have my, my wedding dress. And some extra picture frames and stuff we're not using right now. I have um, space down there. I have a plastic bin I'm going to bring up and put all of her extra clothes in. And then I have this organizer deal that's hanging. It's really helpful. I put all the sheets on top. I have some extra diapers in there. And then other random things I can't find room elsewhere for. All of her sweaters and coats. Long sleeve, short sleeve, and then onesies. As you can tell, I have a lot in the washing machine. And then this organizer has been really helpful. On top, I've got a picture frame that I made, keepsake box for her, another keepsake box, an angel decorate, decoration or collector item, piggy bank. These are all of her pants. These are shorts and skirts that she can't wear anymore because I just said it's winter. Boots, extra diaper pail liners and wipes extra pants that don't fit in this container and the piggy bank we're actually using. These are all of her pajamas. In this pink drawer I've got this is the equivalent of your bra underwear sock drawer. <laughs> so the tutus and socks. Next drawer down is all of her burp cloths and these that go on top of the changing table, changing table, excuse me, but they they always move around and they get annoying, so we've just been changing around the changing table. And then down here is just a lot of random things, extra hangers, some toys, little swimmer diapers. And then we just keep her bath towel hanging off this little hook in here. And that's pretty much her room. You know, like I said, it's small, but it works. We play in here a lot and she likes to hang out in her room, so that is that. Hope you enjoyed.